Hi everybody, in this video we're going to be reviewing the Van Gogh Varkala Connect 360. Van Gogh have sent us this awning with a couple of extras, which I'll come on to later, but right now let's have a look at what's in the bag. The bag contains everything you need to fit the awning onto the caravan. The pack comes with storm straps, fixing poles, protecting foam pads, good quality pegs, a mallet, a pump with pressure gauge, side skirts and wheel arch covers too. In total it's quite an inclusive package that comes with this awning and there's nothing else that you need to purchase to make this awning a very usable space. Fitting the awning is a straightforward process. As you can see Angela and I are feeding the awning onto the awning rail. Um, our awning rail is a bit tight hence why we're taking our time making sure the fabric doesn't snag or get caught. Once on, simply peg out two points close to the caravan. If it's a bit breezy, you can peg out the other two corners as well. This will stop the awning lifting while it's in a fairly loose state. The awning has three inflation points and the hose of the pump inserts and twists. All the air beams need to be inflated to 7 psi and the included pump indicates the pressure and this takes no time even for an unfit fellow like me. Once inflated, carry on and peg out the rest of the awning. You'll notice that the straps that the pegs fit into are adjustable, so fixing onto an uneven pitch and adjusting the awning is no problem. The bracing beams also need to be inflated to 7 psi, and as you can see here, although sped up, this is a fairly quick process too. Fitting them in place is simple enough, they attach on a hook and loop pad, although I needed to play around with this a little bit as the air beams were very tight to fit in place. So we're going to have to leave this footage here. You see a rather large rainstorm came in and the filming had to be abandoned. I will say though that the taut roof line did ensure that there was no pooling of water on the roof and the awning stood up to some seriously heavy rain. So two weeks later and here we are set up once again. We've just survived a very windy few days as you'll see by the leaves on the roof. So let me give you a tour of the outside. Anyone who knows me will know I generally dislike air awnings, and that's with a good reason. You see, our first awning was an air awning, and after some use, the poles would twist and the awning would never go up straight. This awning, though, has a kink in the air beam. It's not a smooth curve, which means that the risk of the twisting is heavily reduced. So hopefully, this will go up straight every time. I'll report back to you, though, in coming videos. The storm straps and the guy lines are of a webbing construction, and as stated, are included in the kit. But here's a top tip however, when dealing with the flat guy lines you may notice that they bounce around and sometimes make noise in slightly windy weather. Well just add three twists to the webbing as you can see here and the vibration immediately stops and any noise or oscillation is cancelled out. So let's head inside and have a look around. As I mentioned we've just had a fairly windy few days with some rain too and as you can see all the leaves have been brought down from the trees on the roof. The roof is bright allowing lots of light in and leaves and there's a couple of skylight panels here as well so you can watch the rain coming down at you. Now looking at the front bracing beam I seem to have one beam that's got a curve in it. I've tried to correct this in a manner of different ways, different pressure, putting it in a slightly different angle, but if you have a Van Gogh awning and suffer from this, please let me know how to resolve it. I, I just can't seem to sort it out. I will say though that the valves are really well designed. There are a one-way valve which assists when inflating. The hose clips in and twists so it locks in place, and you'll notice that they have an open and closed position. And you can use the cap as a key. When you rotate the valve to the open position, all the air will escape rapidly. Uh, it was great for uh, deflation. Another thing I like about this awning is the window curtains. A central zip allows the curtains to be split or unzipped completely, rolled up and stored in the pocket below the window. The window then can be unzipped and we've been unzipping them about halfway down to allow some airflow in this hot weather. Right, so that's everything so far. Nothing extraordinary, nothing um, amazing perhaps, nothing fantastic about this whole awning setup. But let me show you its top trick and the secret to why this is called the Varkala Connect. And here we are, it's the Varkala extension. It's very easy to add. I added this completely on my own. It's a simple unzip and rezip process and the inflation of two air beams and two bracing beams and then just simply peg it out. So this is where the extension is zipped in place. There are in fact two zips, I'll show you that more in a minute. It's a sturdy zip connection and very easy to add. 
Once pegged out and set up, the extension adds another 2.5 metres of awning space and creates a great conservatory style area in the awning. It allowed us to use the inflatable sofa, which we have for Chloe, so she could just veg out. So if we look at the other end, where we could add another extension and add yet another 2.5 metres of space, you can see where it's unzipped. It's unzipped up the side and all the way around. That end is then removed and the extension is simply put in place. Total time takes about 10 minutes to uh, put this in. The customization though doesn't end there. You see the door area here, well that can be removed and an annex can be zipped in to that area and it in fact creates a dedicated sleeping pod. Now I don't have one here but here's a picture of the setup courtesy of Van Gogh and you can see this gives a very flexible awning setup. It's perfect if you have an extra guest or your teenager is too big for the caravan. The sleeping annex can be added either end and is also compatible with other Van Gogh Connect awnings as well. The extensions however, they are specific left hand or right hand and they are only available and compatible for the Varkala Connect. I've put details to all of these extra pods down in the description below. When I initially put this on I said no, nope, it's okay, it's fine for a family that wants an air awning but it's not for me, it's not for us. Um, you know, we'll review it, it's okay. Don't like it, you know, it's an air awning. Don't like air awnings. Um, putting that extension on has completely changed all of that. This awning now is, it makes complete sense. With those configurable end pods, it now means that this is actually a really, really robust system. It means that if we're just gonna go away for um, a weekend, we can just put up this smaller awning it means if we're going away for a week, we can put on that end piece there. And if we're entertaining, we can put another end piece on there as well. And we've got a mammoth sized awning. It, it is starting to make sense to me. Um, a couple of things I don't like about this is there is no fly screens. Um, so we've had the windows open consistently over the last few days. And we've got a few flies in here. There are no fly screens. I think that may be something that Van Gogh should look at and putting in in the near future. There is no fly screens at all. There's a couple of other small details which are just design details which I think they could have improved upon. Um, where the windows, uh, when, when the curtains actually unzip and fold down into the, the pockets, it would be nice to have the pockets a little bit deeper so that the fabric falls into them. At the moment they just don't quite seem to fit into the pockets too well. Another thing which I'm not too sure about maybe could be revised is if we look down here so this actually covers up the end of our caravan, which is fine, it means it's nice and contained. But if we need to get into that wet locker or even the gas panel there, what I have to do is unzip it from the end there, up to about there, and I'm able to get access to that. It would be easy for Van Gogh to just add in an extra zip maybe along here, so you could then fold up and, you know, gain the access to any um, lockers that you may have in the uh, the side there. So that's my thoughts on this air awning. Do I like it? Um, begrudgingly, yeah, I do like it. Would we buy it? Um, as a 360 solo awning, no, um, we wouldn't. We would not replace our roll away awning. Um, with the extension pieces, absolutely. It makes absolute sense to me. How long did it take us to get up is something that really surprised me. I was always adamant that air awnings are a bit of a con in terms of inflation it because you've still got to get them out of the bag, you've still got to put them on, okay you inflate them, but then you've still got to peg it out. Well actually what happened was whilst we got it on and I was inflating the poles, Angela was pegging it out. I then nipped inside did the bracing beams and Angela finished pegging out and then before we knew it we'd had the awning up. It took us 14 minutes? Yeah. It took us under a quarter of an hour to have the awning completely set up um, which is unheard of. It even staggered Angela and myself and we weren't even racing we were not trying to do it quickly we just wanted to get it done um, and that is from getting out of the bag to finish pegging it out. Um, another thing which surprised me was how well, I don't know if you can see that, the actual awning fitted to the side of the caravan. We don't need to put those additional poles in. We've got them, but we don't need to put them in because the caravan and the awning fit together so smoothly. It's the only awning that has fitted this well to the side of our caravan. 
including our roll away. So there we go. That is the Valkala 360 Connect with end wing. Let me know your thoughts. If there is a detail that you'd like me to cover off in this awning, let me know. Put it in the comments below and I'll go and film that detail for you or let you know my thoughts on it. Um, yeah, that's it from me. I hope you've liked this review anyway. Um, I've tried to be as honest and as upfront of it. I suppose the question you want to know is, would we buy it? Would you be happy to have this awning now? Yeah. See, Mrs. T says, yeah. Chloe? Yeah. Chloe's got a mouthful of sweets and she says yes. And the chops is just, well, he just thinks it's dinner time. So anyway, that's it from us today. I hope it's been useful for you. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I've got to make a choice now whether I'm going to pay for this one or send it back. I think it's been made for me, hasn't it? Anyway, we'll see you in the next one, guys. Take care now. Bye-bye.